Hello there, and welcome to the Imitation Game for today, December the 9th. We are starting off with Stage 1, and Phil, uh... Yep, Phil, Phil is uh, doing what Phil does. I'm not sure what that is, but right there, 3% health, boom, 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 go up the right-hand side. Then, wait, oh my gosh, it's Chief Phil. <laughs> Chief Phil, clearly the Chief of Phil in the last level, is uh, doing what Chief Phil does. He's, um, pew pew pewing. I don't, I don't know. What do Chief Phil's do? They control all of the Indian Phil's? Chiefs and Indians? No. Moving on, stage three. Man, another Phil. This, this is absolutely astounding. I'm sorry, three Phil's in a row. What are the chances of this? Am I right? So, uh, with this one, throw a heal down near those... Uh, mines and your your rifleman will be able to sneak right past that whole mess and then come in from the side and then there's like literally three buildings in between you and the HQ like you start throwing down some shocks and you should be able to sneak right in there maybe a heal or something shouldn't be a thing nice and easy Phil goes down like a clown in stage three I guess Chief Phil should have told him what to do a little bit better. And then TS-61 happens. And I'm going to tell you right now, screw you, TS-61. Screw you twice. Maybe three times on a Sunday. I don't know what happened. I, I honestly, like, I was not paying that much attention to this attack. I was just kind of, like, cruising through it, just like, eh, whatevs. You know, things are going on. Dropping boats with medics, la 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 la, just in my own happy little world. And then I realized, holy shnikey, I just got here and there is one medic left. Oh crud. So, okay, fine, let's start landing some more troops to recover this. But by the time I started landing troops and they started getting to work, well, that, uh, yeah, that happened right there. That's right, right into the defeat. Um,. With less than, like, 5,000 hit points left on the HQ. Basically because I wasn't paying attention. So I'm like, alright, fine, fine. Four is nasty. Five is going to be insane. I'm going all out, balls to the wall, landing all my troops. I don't even care. I, I can't handle an embarrassment like a failure on a stage five because I'm not paying attention. This is happening, and this is happening now. So I landed all my troops, and then I started mowing through the base, and I realized, because, you know, I do tend to track all those fancy numbers that come across the screen there, um, stage 4, even though it has fewer hit points on the HQ, actually has higher level boom cannons, equal level shock launchers, and like, I, I, I harder layout, frankly, than stage 5, and I was like, oh my gosh, I if it wasn't for the fact that the HQ for 4 had fewer hit points than the HQ for 5, I really would have believed, I would have been like, oh, okay, um, I, I guess they got them flipped, they accidentally put 5 in the 4 slot and 4 in the 5 slot, if that makes sense, like, you know, the two levels, anyways. But, no, because of the HQ, I think it was actually intentionally that way. I, I was just blown away by how hard 4 is. Now, the good news is, if you down 4, you're going to have no problems downing 5. And, and frankly, you'll probably even be able to down 6, as ridiculous as that may sound. So, with 6, obviously there is that cluster right at the very front with all the rocket launchers and shock launchers and everything and if you barrage that down you get like some nice AOE damage effects going there and stuff and you can wipe it all out so easily it's it's really like just a pleasure 
Absolutely a pleasure. I did kind of get sloppy and let some of my poor troops run over into the mines there. Um, that's my fault, not theirs. <laughs> wah, wah. And then I cut right up the right-hand side because there are four flamethrowers right there which do horrible thing to the army ants. It turns the army ants into the fire ants and nobody wants to deal with fire ants. You know what I'm saying? If you've ever been bit by a fire ant, you'll know what I'm saying. Um, so, like, one shot can take out all of the, the flamethrowers that are actually dangerous to our troops. And then, going through the rest of it, it's just sniper towers, boom cannons, stuff like that. Riflemen eat that up. And the, the here's the problem, though. Once again, I got overconfident. I was not paying attention. I didn't even realize there was still a rocket launcher standing until I was watching and I, like threw two artilleries at it. I was just like, oh, right, I've got to kill the rocket launchers. Um, so, man, be careful. Do not let the easiness of these bases lull you into a false sense of security because bad things will happen to you if you let that happen. And then we'll move on to... Uh, well, I guess, thank you... A... 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 Con, a, a an, Anacon... Ana Anacon? I don't... Stage 6, whatever. And then we move on to Stage 7 with Dirty Uncle Phil again. My goodness. This is the day of Phil. Alright. So, I, I kind of took the approach of like, hey, I'm going right in the middle. I don't even care. Uh, mo mostly because there's some shock launchers over there, or shock mines over there on the right hand side. And we can kind of avoid that, and they're a bit of a pain in the buttocks. Um, so if we can pass it, why not pass it? So I went over to the right-hand side. There are there's there's the the trifecta of horrible for riflemen defenses right there. You got the shock launcher, the shock blaster, and the rocket launcher. Obviously, all three of those are just aching to do horrible, horrible things to your poor troops. And the easiest way to prevent that from happening is shocking all three. One shock, all three are done. Like, absolutely fantastic. It's great. And it lets your troops kind of crawl up the, the right-hand side and build up, as you can see, an absolute mountain of GBE because, well, why not? <clears throat> Excuse me. So anyways, uh, keep going up the right-hand side, and then at the very end, your, your troops are going to naturally swing back in towards the HQ because, well, you you got to swing in towards the HQ. You're, you're out of map otherwise. And from there, you should have no problems taking it out. I just started goofing around to try and blow up the, the Doom Cannon, but really, I'm not too worried about it. There's not much of a reason um, as I finish off the base. Anyways, guys, uh, thank you very much for watching. Hopefully this has been helpful. Hopefully this has been entertaining. And most importantly, hopefully you guys have a fantastic day.